Asus and AWD IT sent over these two bundles. Now, one of these is a stock 8700K that comes pre overclocked to 4.8 gigahertz, and the other one is a delidded 8700K which comes uh, pre overclocked to 5 gigahertz. We're going to take a look at them, so stick around. So starting off with what you get in the bundle, you get the chip, the motherboard, and a CPU cooler of your choosing. You can also add RAM to the bundle if you fancy. The ones that I have here do include RAM, and they did include an, a Corsair H15, H115i Pro, uh, but uh, that's uh, kind of optional for you, so feel free to take a look at the links in the description to either of these bundles. But with the budget bundle, or the, the cheaper version, the stock non delidded version, uh, that one is an 8700K, as said, that runs at 4.8 gigahertz and uses a RG Strix Z370-F. I've done a full review of that board so if you want to check out my thoughts on it feel free to take a look at that review and I've also obviously done a review of the 8700K so feel free to take a look at that as well. Now the bundle came with the CPU and RAM pre-installed which I expect if you you know purchase the RAM with the bundle you'll likely see that as well and it's you know pretty decent obviously the uh, its core temperatures are still pretty high you're looking at around about 80 to 90 celsius even with something like a Corsair H115i Pro just because of the uh, thermal paste that's inside there. Uh, with the uh, sort of higher end, the delated bundle, you get a Maximus 10 Hero. Uh, same RAM in this configuration. They're both 16 gigs of 3000 megahertz RAM that are preset in the XMP profile setting, so that's awesome. And obviously this one is a delated 8700K and actually is very, very impressive. As I showed in my how to overclock a delated 8700K video, the temperatures for this chip were really pretty impressive. Even under full 100% synthetic load in Prime 95 for example you were looking at 60 to 70 degrees Celsius at most with general or average use being in the 50 to 60 degrees Celsius range with a uh, as I said H115i Pro from Corsair so again a really impressive chip and a massive difference with the delidding and because I thought you'd probably be interested in it here are some benchmark results with the two chips versus each other obviously one at 4.8 and one at 5 gigahertz starting off with the Cinebench results as you can see the difference between 4.8 and 5 gigahertz really isn't massive here you're looking at a very slight single core improvement and a very slight multi-core improvement so nothing too massive when taking a look at ASUS RealBench again, you can actually see a little bit of a bigger difference here in stuff like the encoding and image editing benchmarks. Not so much on the multitasking and again, not so much on the system side, but there are some specific workloads that really do uh, benefit from that extra clock speed. Taking a look at 3D Mark Firestrike, you can see that uh, again, pretty similar results across the board, really nothing massive in, in difference here. So again, something that you wouldn't necessarily notice, and even in actual gaming results with something like GTA 5, you're looking at very similar results here with only minor differences which can easily be chalked up to just margin of error with even things like the minimum and maximums being just different between results and that sort of thing so I wouldn't worry too much about that. Again in Dirt Rally you're looking at almost identical results with just one FPS difference in the maximum number so again I really don't think you'll notice much of a performance difference between the two assuming that they are set to 4.8 and 5 gigahertz respectively. So is it worth it going for the delidded chip with the higher end motherboard over the stock bundle with the stock undelidded chip. Well, for me, that one is a bit of a tough question because while you do get fantastic temperatures and a little bit more overclocking headroom, so in theory you can push the chip a little bit further, I don't think you're going to see a massive difference in real world performance, and especially if you're not really planning on hard on overclocking it, that I don't think it's going to be that much of a value add for you. Now, of course, if they were to offer this bundle with uh, the same motherboard, but obviously delidded or non-delidded chips, that would be very nice to see just because that then it's a little bit better value for money just because you don't have to pay for the relatively a good bit more expensive motherboard while also still getting that delidded chip. So let's do some scoring but we're going to keep them separate as they are pretty different here. So starting off with the Strix non delidded bundle, I think this is going to be a 4 for 5 money. They do a pretty decent job here and it's certainly uh, you know no uh, massive price hike compared to just buying the components separately. Uh, when looking at performance it does a pretty good job and at least in this context it's going to be a 4.5. Functionality is going to be a little bit limited just because of the temperatures and that's going to be 
a 4.5 as well and in terms of styling the, the board and obviously uh, general stuff is probably going to be a 4.5 here too and a 4.5 with the gold award uh, for this bundle. Taking a look at the more expensive delidded bundle this one certainly gets to the pricey range very quickly especially when you throw in RAM because of the higher end motherboard and obviously the, the price premium for the delidded chip. So for me this one is going to be I think a uh, 4 for 5 money. When it comes to performance though it does a pretty decent job so it's going to be a 5 and in terms of functionality especially because of those temperatures uh, temperature reductions is going to be a 5. In terms of styling I think these are pretty match for me personally in stylings it's going to be a 4.5 and I think in terms of Titan BB score it's also going to be a 4.5 and a gold award as these are both awesome bundles they're decent prices and obviously if you want a delated chip and you can sort of afford the price hike for it then feel free to take a look. So with that said I'd love to hear what you think in the comments down below is a delated chip and this sort of bundle worth it for you or would you rather stick with the stock bundle or even just buying the parts yourself and maybe even delating it yourself I'd love to hear what you think in the comments down below. If you want to check out these bundles I'll leave links to them in the description down below for you and otherwise feel free to check out some of the other videos that are over here. If you want to support the channel and help me make these videos on a Monday, Wednesday and Friday basis take a look at the links in the description down below starting with the Patreon link there's also some merch and stuff and uh, Amazon and Overclock UK affiliate links We can help me out by uh, using those uh, links when buying from those places. Otherwise as I said that's pretty much it thank you for watching hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you all in the next video.